everyone, it's my K Shopper. Today is March 1st, 2021. The most important, I should actually, I shouldn't say such a big thing like that. But to me, it's one of the most important days of the year, and it is 1O's birthday. So, first off, a few hours ago, I did a YouTube live stream, and the last time I did it was exactly a year ago on 1O's birthday. But that live stream, only I only did it for like five minutes because it was my first time doing it, and I was like kind of awkward. I'm like, oh, just, you know, just a short thing I wanted to do since it was his birthday. But this YouTube live that I did today, I was expecting it to be short too, but then more than one person came to actually like um, chat and like watch the live. So I was like, this is really, really crazy. And so it ended up being an hour long. So to you guys who joined me on the YouTube live, thanks for joining. And I'm glad that you guys did enjoy it. I really do enjoy talking about my opinion and sharing opinions with each other. So like hearing what you guys say about it and then you guys um, hear what I have to say about it. I don't know, like, I guess I really like debate like deep discussions like that so anyways I enjoyed it so I would like to keep doing YouTube lives in the future if I do a YouTube live on everyone's birthday I mean it could just go from there because you know anything can happen on a live so I felt yeah I felt like that would be a good plan to do so yeah started it off with one of birthday today and then I'm gonna keep going I also think this pandemic won't be ending anytime soon so I think it would be nice that I take advantage of YouTube and live streaming while we all are still staying at home and so yeah for this next year I will do that more in the future so you can look forward to it before I go into today's topic I do want to let you guys know that I have changed my calendar so this is the Monster X season's greetings it is Gion for March and here is the Wano season greetings and this picture of him is him um cleaning the house see he's cleaning his house this one too see he's cleaning and then also it says there on March 1st Wano day on to today's topic, which is explaining the Korean age system part three. And this is the final part. Finally, I can sum everything up today. If you haven't watched my videos about Korean age system part one and two, part one I did on Hyungwon's birthday and part two I did on Ayam's birthday. So those explanations I did for them is kind of the old system, which most people Koreans do go by since most of us are older, but then the new system, which I'll explain now in this video, are more for the younger generation now. So first, let me sum up what is now the new modern system going on in Korea for the age system. The people who are born after 2000, if you are born after the year 2000, you do not do the fast birthday anymore. In the old system, we have the fast birthdays, which happen because, might be because of the lunar calendar, but also because in Korea, when you get registered for the day you go to school, that is the age that you are considered the same age with your classmates, no matter how your year is born. Please do watch part one and part two if this doesn't make sense to you. So I assume the Korean government decided we should stop this fast birthday thing because it is so confusing. And yes, it is, but you know, Koreans got used to it, but then they decided decided for the people born after the year 2000. They no longer do fast birthdays for these people. If you are born in January 2000, you are never ever considered a fast birthday. You got registered to start school as the same age and time as other kids born in the year 2000. So then now in this new system, if you are all born in that year, no matter if it's January or December, you are all considered the same age and then register into school of that year of 2000. If you like a K-pop singer who was born after 2000 and you never hear them talk about fast birthdays, this is why starting in the year 2000, it does not exist anymore for them. But as you know, we are only in the year 2021. So majority of Koreans are born before 2000. So you have to know like the old Korean age system and the new Korean age system. So there are some things that I said in part one and part two about the Korean age system that I wanna fix here in part three, but just keep in mind part one and part two is the old Korean age system. I found out recently for my Korean friends who are around the same age as me is that they do not go by the lunar calendar for their lunar age. So I was really surprised about that because I thought most Koreans do, but it turns out it's only my mom's generation that does that. So, you know, I only learn about Korean things from my mom. And so when I heard that, I really thought most Koreans, even my age, they go by the lunar calendar for their age. But my Korean friend around the same age as me, she said, no, we go by the solar calendar. So she said her zodiac animal, they don't judge it by the lunar calendar. They judge it by the solar calendar. So when it's January 1st, 
solar, that is when the animal changes. And I was just so surprised because all my life, I only went by the lunar calendar of when the animal zodiac changes. So with the age system going by the lunar calendar, you can kind of forget about that. Only my parents' generation go by that. And so you won't hear the K-pop singers really say that. Just for you guys as international fans, you don't need to worry about the lunar calendar, but I personally still like to go by the lunar calendar. So I guess you could call me like an old timer, but yeah, so you don't need to worry about that anymore. On to the next topic, which is talking about Wano's age for his birthday today. You need to know this first is that the Korean school year starts on March 2nd. As you know, it is his birthday, March 1st. It is the day before school starts. Now, the reason why school starts on March 2nd and not March 1st is because March 1st today is actually a Korean national holiday. So March 1st Movement Day, or in Korean, we call it Sam Il Jol. About 100 years ago, Korea got colonized by Japan. And so Korea was not gonna be its own country anymore and Japan was trying to colonize it. So this was a very hard time for Korea and you know, we were about to lose our country. But then a group of students on March 1st, they decide to protest against the Japanese rule and trying to get Korea's liberation. I do want to say it was led by a female student. Her name is Yu Guan Soon. And so I found that out recently from my Korean friend. It's just very cool. It's by a young female student who led it. And so sadly, it was an unsuccessful protest. But the thing is, this March 1st movement, it really helped to really start off uh, for Korea to get their liberation finally. And so on August 15th is when Korea got liberated from Japan. And that's another history lesson for another time. But anyways, this national holiday for March 1st is just a really significant time. And I feel like it's also really good that it's on Wano's birthday. I mean, if it weren't for our ancestors, like my mom wouldn't be here. And then if my mom wasn't here, then I wouldn't be here. And Korea wouldn't be the way Korea is as we know it now. So I'm just very thankful for what everything Korea has done. And now we are a very successful country. Thank you for listening to my brief Korean history lesson. So March 1st is a national holiday. No one goes to work and we also don't go to school. So that's why the new school year starts on March 2nd. So Wano's age now. Everything I'm gonna say now about Wano's age is all my guess, but I feel like it is some truth to it. But here we go into what I think is Wano's age. So on Wano's official bio, it says his birthday is March 1st, 1993. Now the thing is, it's very possible that he registered into school the year before him. So even though he's born in 1993, but because his birthday is March 1st and the school year didn't start yet, he probably registered with the people who are born in 1992. And this is why with Shanu, who was born in 1992, they call each other friends because most likely Wano got registered into the year 1992 kids. And that's why he calls Shanu his friend and he calls um the 93 liners his younger brothers. But based on my observation on how Wano acts with the Monster X members and act with some other people, I have a feeling he's actually born in 1992. So I have a strange feeling he is born March 1st, 1992, and he did register one year before him. So he will consider people born in 1991 the same age as him. So let me tell you guys my theory on this. So I heard this from a Mon Baby before that in the early days of Monster X, Starship wrote Wano's birthday as March 1st, 1992. Apparently that did happen, but then they corrected it very quickly and then changed it to 1993. I don't know if you guys know this, but actually for Sistar, their ages were actually changed by Starship. So Pora and Hyorin, their ages were revealed after they left Starship. So they ended up being one year older than what they said it was on their bio profile when they were under Starship. So it's definitely very possible that Starship could have done the same thing with Monster X ages. So in Wano's case, when I hear him talk with the other members, in all honesty, it really has that feeling that he's the oldest member in the group and not Shanu. I don't know how many times that has happened, but I have heard some of the other Monster X members call Wano the oldest member in the group. Here's the thing, we assume that he's the same age as Shanu, so it's kind of understandable to call him the oldest in the group because he's the same age as Shauna, so you could call both of them the oldest in the group. But the thing is, I hear them say that more to Wano and not really to Shanu. And so I really feel like they are saying that on purpose, that actually Wano is older than Shanu, which would make sense if he's born March 1st, 1992. Another thing I noticed about Wano is that I saw this randomly somewhere. I don't know where it is, but randomly him and Soyu. So Soyu from Sistar, her age is February, 1992, but she considers 
calls herself the fast birthday. So she considers people born in 1991 all her friends. So if you saw her interact with Shanu, Shanu calls Hoyu an older sister. So because, you know, she's a fast birthday. So in this clip I saw of Wano and Hoyu talking with each other, and like this wasn't broadcast or anything. It was like um, in the background of a video. And so I saw him talk to Hoyu and he doesn't call her older sister. He called her by her name. So with Wano calling Hoyu by her name and not as older sister, that means they have to be the same age or Soyu is younger than Wano and very sure she's not younger than him so I feel pretty sure he called her by her name because they are the same age. So backtracking a little, remember Soyu is born February 1992 and she considers 1991 her friends and with Wano being March 1st 1992, I think that kind of makes sense that they both could be fast birthdays and they consider all 1991 people the same age as them. So with these observations of mine, I really have a strong feeling Wano is born in 1992. So he is the oldest member of Monster X and technically Shanu should call Wano older brother. But you know, here's another exception about the Korean age system is that you don't have to call someone an older brother or older sister if you guys agree like you guys can call each other by each other's names. My Korean friend, for example, she told me with her experience like you know with people who are a few years older than her they would still call each other by their names because they agree mutually that it's okay even though one person is older than the other it's very possible Wano is okay with Shonu treating him as a friend even though technically Shonu should call him an older brother but you know each person is very different like personally for me if I met someone younger than me and they want to call me older sister I might be kind of weirded out by it just because I'm American so I would tell them no you should call me by my name it's totally okay but as you grow older and you're not in school anymore to care about people's ages and what grade level you are, you can just comfortably ask someone, hey, um, is it okay if I call you by your name and you call me by my name? Like, if you guys both agree on it and you're both comfortable with it, it's totally fine. You don't have to call each other older brother or older sister. So really, it's not super strict and it all depends on your comfort level with that person on what you want to call each other. And what I noticed with K-pop singers, they usually are kind of strict with calling each other older brother or older sister. So I never see anyone who's like, oh, we're age difference like this, but we call each other by our names. I haven't seen that with K-pop singers, but I have seen it with regular Korean people. And like for me, I would tell Tell people you can call me by my name. So now wondering why would Starship lie about their ages? Who knows? I mean it's a mystery in itself but you know not only Starship but I think some other agencies have done it before too but again who knows. This video is getting so long now but I think I've summed up everything I need to talk about. So the Korean age system based on how we are doing it right now in this generation. I think I've explained that as best I can. And it is my theory and opinion on Wano's age. I personally do think he's born in 1992 and he's a fast birthday, but we won't know his real age until he leaves Starship, sadly. But I am looking forward to that if I am right. So we will see. If you guys ever have questions about the Korean age system or anything in general that I've talked about, you can always contact me anytime or leave a comment below and I will answer as soon as I can. And this concludes today's video. I do have one more video that I need to make after I finish this. This one so do look forward to that as i continue this big celebration on wano's birthday so hope you guys are having a good day and i'll see you guys again soon bye Shine.